Hello friends, welcome everyone. Today, continuing with chapter 2 of economics, Indian economy from 1950 to 1990, chapter 2, part 3. We are going to discuss about how the policy makers were able to tackle the problems and attain the goals with reference to agriculture, trade and industry. In this video, we are going to talk about agriculture. At the time of independence, the policy makers were faced with the problem of low productivity in agriculture and extreme poverty. This they were able to tackle through land reforms and green revolution. Land reforms at the time of independence, the land tenure was characterized by intermediaries called Zamidar and Zagidars. These Zamidars and Zagidars were not interested in the condition of the tenants. They were just interested in collecting revenue and making money. They were also not interested in the improvement in the agriculture. As a result of this, at the time of independence, India had no food sufficiency in the country. India had to import food from United States of America. Equity in agriculture called for land reforms which primarily refers to change in the land holdings. The, within a year after independence, the land was taken from the Zamidars. Zamidars. Zamidari system was abolished and the land was given to the tiller. Land sealing was another policy to promote equity in agriculture. This means that a unit of land was fixed which could be owned by individuals. As a result of this, about 200 lakh tenants came in direct contact with the government. resulting in low per capita income and poverty in the country. Green revolution 
which was introduced in 1960 meant using high yielding variety seeds and chemical fertilizer green revolution involved technological and institutional changes in the country these reforms changed the picture of the country green revolution in the first phase from mid 1960s to mid 1970s was uh, benefited by wheat and rice producing states like punjab andhra pradesh and tamil nadu in the second phase from 1970 to 1980 it spread to many states in india and this brought in the change in the agriculture sector in india now india became self sufficient in food production a portion of food production which is sold in the market is called market surplus a good amount of market surplus was created as a result of this the prices of wheat and rice came down the government was able to procure a large amount of food namely wheat and rice and this could be used at the time of shortage of food at the time of any calamity or drought etc and food was procured from the farmers securing the future of the farmers thank you friends for watching my video please do comment like and share my video